That's right. Hey, so how about oil? That's oil. Right, right. Okay. So it's Wednesday. What time? It's about 10:23. We get the oil number every 10:30, 10:30 a.m. Eastern time. Looks like the estimates right now between 400 and 500. Why not? We have a minute on the Bloomberg okay. left to give it a guess. We haven't given the chart a look. We'll do that right afterwards. But you know, if you think oil is going to rise in price, you would be looking for less oil than yeah. they thought, as in a bigger draw. If you thought maybe oil was going to go down in price, you'd be looking for a big surplus, a right. gut. Uh, looks like the survey number is minus 400,000 barrels for the week. Whisper number a little bit lower, minus 525. What are you going to do? Uh, let's see. What are we, we're down about a buck fifty today, right? We're sitting at like 55 and change. So the question is, you want to play it to the downside or the upside? Uh, I'm figuring just fill in the gap. Okay, well, what does that mean in terms of that up or mean, down? That would mean it'd probably get a little bounce. We'll go. I was going to go bounce too. Yeah. So that means we're going to miss to the downside. Hopefully, if you were playing for a bounce, we're going to go minus 700 with 10 seconds to spare. Oh, cool. I see. Yeah, I guess. Maybe saying. that gives it. No, that's going to be minus 700, maybe. There we go. You got it. We One, made it with two seconds. seconds. Left. Good. Okay. Perfect. So we'll see what happens. Let's jump over to the chart now and see what we have. So here's the price of crude. Quite a drop today. We're looking at the November contract. We'll get this chart to the front. We were just up at $57, man. Dropped almost 55.60. So I was taking a look at this over the break. I pulled up a couple of the volatility trades. Here's your 11 a.m. spreads. Again, we're at 55.85. These are going to have 55.75. Okay. Okay, so we're 10 cents in the bullish position with intrinsic value. So there's your bullish spread. After a lot of volatility this morning, too. Interesting. Yeah, there's your, yeah and we had to jump around to find, but 11s and 12s line up both with this price point. So we're going to have 55.75. You have a 10 cent start to the bullish side. Here's your bullish spread, gonna cost you $25, you're getting into 56, the contract's at 55.83. The bearish spread, just the premium, you're minusing the intrinsic value, so you're looking at about $44, $45, represents 44, 45 cents away from 55.83, ah, excuse me, 55.75, right? The noons, same exact price spreads, here's your bullish one, 55.75, this time the bullish one is gonna cost you 31, as opposed to 25, right? right? So you're paying six pennies or six dollars on each leg, probably. 55, 58 is where you're selling the 11. There you go, eight on the, and 55, 50 is where you're selling the noon. So you're looking at 56 versus yeah. 44. So you wanna pay 44 cents for 11 a.m. or do you wanna pay 56 cents in terms of how much movement you need for the well, noon? We'll see what happens, we got three minutes. We've a lot minutes. of movement already, man, pretty wild. Yeah. 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. And we're going to have our man Teddy Cakes that up at 40 past the hour. We got any action in currencies, man? That oh, dollar we, index hit 100 big, yet? It's, it's got big, some strength, big man. Dow's up 32, now six down 31. S&P's off 8. We'll come right back. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now are up 57. Nasdaq's down 21. S&Ps are off five. And oil, let's see where we are with these uh, oil contracts. Jumping now. back to the chart, we're looking at the contract. We'll pull it up. Oil trading 55.88. Not too much of a move. It's right? not a holiday either. No, it's not, right? <laughs> and let me zoom in a little bit as the market's digesting it. And why don't we jump back and maybe pull up. Uh, the news, maybe we'll get it at the top. There we go. Crude oil. Look at how much it rose. Oh, boy. This oil should it get smoked. It didn't come in at minus 700. It, this would be interesting. Us? That's a plus 2.41 million barrels, folks. Yeah, here we go. So it's just going to be perfect. Here's the whole breakdown. So crude for the week, plus 2.4 million barrels. Median estimate was minus 600. Wow. My estimate, minus 700. 750, yeah. Uh, gasoline coming in with a build as well, 519,000 versus the estimate of a decrease of 564. Let's see, the distillate, look at, look at the huge miss in distillates. Minus 3 million barrels almost. The estimate was, was only minus 4. Wow. And meanwhile, you have Cushing with plus 2.2. And... Um, I wonder how these crude imports, minus 672, yeah. and you know so forth, shape that that inventory number. Nonetheless, with that, you should have seen the the price drop through the floor. No, and, it hasn't. And we haven't seen it at all. Either that, or that we're getting a bad quote. No, it looks, it looks I, real. It looks yeah. pretty legit. It's ticking, right? Look at that. 
5591. We've actually ticked up. So someone had the numbers this morning. We've sold actually, it off. We've actually morning. ticked up five um, pennies. We'll have to check back in. I feel like that's one of them that the market might be laying calm. And just checking back on oil, actually getting a little bit of a pop up $56.20 right now, uh, which is remarkable. Two million plus build. Right. Right. And uh, the estimate was a decline about 600,000 barrels, and oil trades to 56.20, about 40 cents above from where we were trading at. But yeah, checking out those indices, man. Green across the board, and gold pulling back pretty remarkable.